Anyway, uh, yes, definitely. Uh, it's a real story about marriage. Uh, what takes place um, between two married people, sacrifices made, mistakes made, decisions. Um, if there's one lesson that I've learned um, from being part of to have and to hold, it's that kanya-kanya yan, depende yan. But in a marriage, of course, kahit sino naman, um, lahat gagawin para masave yung marriage, masave yung pagsasama at hindi masira yun. Uh, may mga tao na siguro madali sa kanila na bumitaw. Uh, may mga tao na gagawin ng lahat, kakapit lang. So, uh, kanya-kanya yan and I guess pinaka-common factor dyan across all marriages is lahat gagawin para masave yung marriage. Para mag-uwi. <laughs> Lalo na nung natapos na yung show. Um, kasi prior to um, prior to taping, after accepting the role, um, uh, syempre, I had to do my research. Uh, tama ka, tama ka. This year lang ako kinasal, uh, January. So, talagang newlywed talaga. Of course, kakatapak lang namin ni Melissa sa bagong chapter ng buhay namin. And as a stage kami na... Like, marami pa kami natututunan tungkol sa isa't isa. And how it, how life is so different from being just a boyfriend, uh, boyfriend girlfriend. Ngayon, um, as I uh, as I <laughs> did the show, marami ako natutunan on how to really uh, you know, keep a marriage uh, alive. Uh, going back sa kinakwento ko, may mga kinausap din ako, mga, mga, mga may edad na, na tipong 30 years na yun. 30 years na silang kasal, uh, may mga newlyweds din, tiyatanong ko, may, 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 may mga bumps sa marriage niyo na ganito kaaga. So different uh, ages, age range or age uh, groups yung mga kinausap ko. And to really get the feel of uh, how it's like being uh, newly married and uh, ano na pakiramdam kapag matagal na. Uh, <laughs> kahit pa paano, I got a sense of uh, how it was like and I, I applied it to the character. But after doing the show, nakita ko yung uh, importansya ng uh, pakikipag-usap. Hindi lang yung casual usapan, but really like just having the, that one-on-one uh, openness para sa isa't isa and how much it can really affect your relationship. Eh. Um, it's it's very simple to talk about it pero it all boils down to that yung pag-iintindi sa isa't isa pagtanggap sa mga pagkakamali ng isa't isa uh, tsaka pagyakap sa kanila ng buong-buo so sabi ko grabe yung mga may edad na sabi ko napapatext ako sa kanila idol ko po kayo <laughs> hanga, <laughs> hanga po ako sa relationship ninyo Ayun, kahit pa paano may natutunan ako sa show mo <laughs> I don't want to really say, but um, yes. Wow, okay. Filipino, definitely. Oh, yes. Nakakatawa na pumunta pa ng US para sa Filipino designer. So, okay, gano'ng katagal yung process? Nung, so, ano ba to? Like, ito ba yung dress na nung bata ka pa and you were dreaming of your fairy tale <laughs> wedding? In-apply mo siya. Designer, yes. Eh. It's not a... I never really had a particular uh, design in mind, but it's okay. really more of the designer talaga na ever since yun na yung dream ko. So, um, I was hoping na, you know, as I go there and have myself measured na bahala na kung ano na lang yung, yung parang magugustuhan ko kapag nasuot ko or, or kung ano okay. na lang yung magugustuhan ko on the spot. So, walang particular peg naman or anything. So, medyo ano lang din. Basta yung designer lang yung aking dream. Ay. First. Me first. Ano lang po. Oh, sige. sige. Um, hmm. uh, in terms of uh, si playing the role of Erica, uh, tsaka yung pananalita niya, yun lang yung kaibahan, um, we were actually particular about it. Kasi direct doon, Michael Perez and I worked on Love of My Life just a few months prior to um, uh, to having to hold. Tapos, of course, pare-pareho naman po kami nag-gusto yung ibang-iba talaga from uh, the character I played in Love of My Life, si Adele. So, ibang-iba, pananalita, mahirap kasi uh, hindi po siya natural na, <laughs> hindi po mga terms na ginagamit ko talaga. Um, and then... 
um, may times po na iniiba na lang po namin based on kung ano yung mas familiar yung viewers uh, ngayon sa mga terms, mas bago, mga ganun po, or whatever I was comfortable na lang po saying. So, but other than that, um, preparation-wise, talagang paulit-ulit lang po ng pagbasa ng script kasi may times na um, hindi ko pa rin pumakuha yung particular uh, Becky term. And then, siguro along the way, it helped a lot working with Miss Gillette because sa kanya, natural na natural. Super effort talaga, magaling. So, <laughs> doon ko po nakukuha in ganon. So, yun. Kaming dalawa po, tag team kami. <laughs> Thank you, Rocco. Um, I have to say, si, si Mel, si Mel is yung wife ko. She would join me sometimes when uh, we would watch. Tuwan-tuwa siya kung paano magsalita si Carla siya, si, si Miss Gillette. Lagi niya inaabangan yung scene silang dalawa. Sabi niya, it's so new. It's so new. Kaya it, it really, it's, it's so attractive to the audience na it's something new from Carla also. Anyway, uh, sige, the scene last night. Uh, I remember having my makeup artist take a video of that scene para inaabot ata ng 17 minutes ata eh. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, direct. But and dapat natin si Sihin dyan, si direct sa, <laughs> <laughs> sa mga ins- napakagandang instructions sa pinapagawa niya kung, kung saan ako pupuesto. And I really like na uh, direct Don Michael Perez was able to give me space to go here, do this, do that. Um, sakto, he pressed the right buttons um, bago kami mag- magsimula. And uh, he gave me time. Um, medyo weird lang because to get into that specific personality na eventually gugustuhin ni Gavin na patayin si si Dom I was playing <laughs> I was playing uh, hardcore EDM music just to get um, <laughs> that dark dark side of myself so napapansin ko yung mga crew gumaganon <laughs> but when I entered the room medyo naging dark but um Everyone, uh, everyone was taking good care of me, and sabi ko if I went too far, ando naman yung assistant director para hatapin naman ako. Pero ando si direct. Uh, thank you, direct. Ganda ng mga shots niyo. Um, ako oh, direct. Bakak may gusto kayo sabihin sa mga shots. If if I may add to that, that that was one long take, one mm-hmm. one single take. All oh, yeah. all twenty oh, all twenty minutes of that was just one take. <laughs> Thank you as actor. Na napaka napaka professional nila at ang babayit nila napakadali nilang kausap. Uh, I know um I can be uh demanding at times. I my my work my work style kasi can be very taxing for actors in the sense na uh, I like doing long takes. Uh hindi ako yung like given a scene no uh, I rarely cut uh, unless there's a pressing need to um, kaya minsan tumutuho kami ng up to 20 sequences in one go uh, and that that can be very uh, de- taxing for 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 the actors Syempre, you need to you need to know all the lines you need to memorize the blocking tapos you need to be in character the entire time for like I said, no, for 20 minutes, like what Rocco did. Uh, but it can be very rewarding kasi pag natapos mo siya, kasi the, the performance comes out as real and raw. Kumaga, there's no, there's no editing to, to, to spruce it up or uh, hindi, hindi ka dadayain ng camera ticks or anything. What you see is what was given by the actor during the time that we took it. So, and, and, and for that, I, for, for that to work, you need to have very good actors, very professional actors who are prepared uh, to take on that kind of uh, undertaking. So for, for that, I'm so thankful for, for, for Carla, for Rocco, for Max, and the rest of the cast. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Direct. Thank you, Direct. Uh, yung ngayon lang kami natuloy. Uh, Kahit dun sa parang um, I think Sir Ravenna um, mula versus Ravenna hindi nakapag-work. Wala ko dun. Wala ko dun. Mm, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Well, just the same, um, sir. How is he as an actor? Ah, uh, nung, un- nung una, no, uh, natakot akong i-upload siya kasi parang feeling ko suplado. <laughs> <laughs> pa- parang feeling ko, naku, po, po, baka hindi kami magkasundo nito. <laughs> baka, baka, pag, baka pag may hiniling ako dito sa pakin ako, ganun yung dating. So, <laughs> Grabe. So, 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 ganun yung dating ng umpisa. Pero, sa so, totoo lang, no, as, as we got to know each other, as we, kasi, ah, uh, Uh, I, I I asked him to trust me. I asked him to be open with me, and he did. And I'm I'm so thankful for that. Uh, eventually, you know, we we started sharing secrets. We started, uh, you know, sharing life lessons. Uh, uh, we started doing yoga together along with the rest of the cast. <laughs> and uh, he's well. He became not just a favorite actor of mine, but also a friend. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, that's that's how you. our mm. our journey came full circle. Oh. Hearing that, Rocco, what does uh, it mean to you to uh, be lauded um, as an actor? Direct. Sige pa, direct. Pero may joke lang. Pero may lang ni Rocco, direct. Punan ko lang. Just the same. I um, First time ko makatrabaho si Direk. So before anything, before we started, as I got there, uh, tinatanong ko yung EP namin, kamo sa po magtrabaho si Direk? Ano po style niya? May katanong. The AD also, nagpapakwento ako kung paano siya mag-work. Um, um, ang pinakaalam ko lang was that uh, um, si Direk Joel Lamangan ay isa sa mga nag, uh, nagturo sa kanya. Tama po, direct, no? So, parang medyo similar, but be prepared na ma-surprise ma, ma, ma kung paano siya magtrabaho. Sige, 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 sige. I'm always up for challenges. Um, so, yun, natuwa lang ako kay direct kasi um, isa siya sa mga nakita ko na talaga nagbigay siya ng um, initiative na makausap ako to really start that um, rapport na uh, magkakilala kami, maging at ease kami sa isa't isa. Nagpaalam ako, direct, okay lang ba? I, I get to talk to you if, um, um, if hindi ko gusto yung pagbato ng lines ko. Um, I just wanted to become a sponge sa so, kung anong pwede ibigay ni Direk sa akin. And I was very grateful na we welcome niya yun, yung mga ganito. I'm sure alam na niya kung paano magtrabaho si Carla. Uh, timplado na niya si Carla. Okay, kami kasi, we had to start from scratch. So um by para lang para alam niya ay every scene I did wala akong binaybi na scene na lang siguro simply put uh, lahat na lang siguro binigay ko na lang um ng gusto niya and uh, if he wanted more of it I would give more of it sometimes na nararamdaman ko na akala ko tapos na yung scene pero nandun pa rin yung camera nakatutok pa rin sa akin I, I would get that na, uh, ay, parang may gusto pa si Direk. Okay, okay, nuance. Okay, pasok, pasok. Uh, add some more or, or add flavor to it. So, it was a nice experience para sa akin to um, to work with someone new and then ngayon naging kaibigan na rin. And uh, it, nakatawa, nakatawa. Nakataba ng puso hearing these nice words from Direk. Thank you, Direk. And um, Rocco, I know you've worked with Carla uh, previously mm-hmm. in a show like uh, Familia Rosas. Um, doing that then, um, how do you think Carla fared as an actress? Galingan mo, Rocco. Kano ba? Magkano ba binayad mo sa akin, Carla? Para sa ano na joke And contest ba ito ng pagiging martyr, you think? <laughs> Parang ganun ang nagiging parang outlook ko sa characters niya. Contest. Contest. Um, more of, hindi naman contest. Uh, more of comparing yung pagiging martyr ng dalawa. Uh, showing two different sides hmm. ng mga martyr na meron tayo di, sa mga kakilala natin. I'm sure, uh, John, marami kang kakilala din na ganyan din. Yung martyr na matiisin and everything. Um, but um, aminin ko I enjoyed watching Carla prepare for a line or a scene and and really uh, delivering the lines kasi uh, natatawa ako hindi kasi natatawa ako sa kanya kasi like I said kanina iba iba yung napapakita ni Carla kasi 
in how she really talks. Um, she is Carla on our rest days. Mm-hmm. Pero kapag nasa eksena na, then she switches to Erica. Ano eh, nakakatuwa makita yung ganung klaseng switch. Um, um, masasabi ko lang, she, she, she never fails to, ano, to reach that objective. Kung anong gusto ni Derek na ibibigay niya. Sometimes better talaga. Kaya, kaya lagi ko siya sabi, it's a joy to watch Carla work. Kasi uh, nakakahawa yung ganung klaseng vibe. At kailangan unahan ko si Carla palagi sa set. Kasi lagi niya, kung hindi yan on time, maaga yan. So, kapag may eksena, kasama ko si Carla, ay, bilisan natin, bilisan, bilisan natin. Mabilis yan sa set. <laughs> And uh, Miss Carla, by the way, um, is it difficult to portray Erica? Um, I know like the languages per se, medyo yun ang iba sa personality ninyo. But portraying her as a person. Uh, yeah. It's difficult to do yeah. But parang wala naman po talagang role na madali. Um, hmm. It's very difficult. Hindi lang po dahil sa language or what, dahil sa circumstance, but just difficult in general because yun yung story eh, yun yung, yung kwento, that's how she is. And you know, just because I've been acting for over a decade doesn't mean na mas madali na siya each time uh, bago yung character. So mahirap, mahirap maging Erica, mahirap na i-play si Erica. Nag-research ka pa ba ng mga how to speak <laughs> like that? Or... Hindi naman, pero Talaga? mostly immersion lang, mostly immersed myself lang sa mga production people kasi diyan natin madalas na nadidinig yung ganung language makeup artist uh, so like it's a circle to wala eh kasi <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, work so ganun ka ho sa si Carla na no, it it's felt I- like she was speaking that language all her life oh uh. <laughs> kami tayo is na tinatanong ko po parang if it's not something i'm so familiar with tinatanong ko na lang like sa stylist sa makeup artist po namin sa production mm. so, minsan may parang mas maganda silang term sometimes on the spot sa set pinapalitan po namin to make it funnier so depende po in adjust po namin uh, most especially kapag uh, emotional yung scene so yung parang ginagawa po namin ng parang timing like it's parang it shouldn't be spoken all the time parang gano'n just like gano'n gano'n Miss Carla I don't want to put you on the spot but uh, how is how is Rocco as an actor? Gcash <laughs> Gcash po Oo <laughs> Ito na para tingin ko uh, Rocco yeah second time na namin ni Rocco to work together ibang iba si Rocco as Gavin from um, you know previously working with him in uh, Familia Roses Um, I'm sure he felt a lot of pressure playing the role of Gavin. Napakahirap nga naman, di ba? Because this is us, everyone, the world seeing how a husband deals with the wife being, di ba? Ano, uh, tawag dito? Unfaithful. Yeah. So, uh, I'm proud of Rocco. He has matured a lot. And like I always say, nagampanan niya ng maigi yung role ni Gavin. Would you do the wow. same if If you were in the shoes of Erica, would you do the mm-hmm. same? No. <laughs> no. I was in Satel Bayan Erica. Um, hindi, I'm really not like her at all. Um, si Erica kasi may tendency na sinusundan niya yung puso niya, na hindi natuloy siya nakapag-isip. Um, kahit binibigyan na siya ng advice ng mother niya or ng best friend niya, uh, lagi siyang nadadala sa emotions niya. So, hindi naman ako ganun. And I wouldn't have... I don't know. I can't tell, but um, definitely, yung mga decisions ni Erica, I would say it's not something uh, that I would also do in real life. As a person, Rafa, would you tolerate cheating? Sorry again. As a person, would you tolerate something like cheating? Ah, <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. I admit, I was a cheater before. So, wow. Wait, so record. I recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was before because I had a wrong perception uh, as to how to handle relationships because I was cheated on on my first uh, relationship. So, mali ang naging 
defense mechanism. But anyway, that's a long story. That's another story. What um, have you learned from that, though? Masama magchi. <laughs> and uh, karma, karma is uh, no. karma follows you around. Um, there are always consequences for um, decisions that you make, which you have control of. So always be in control. To always, uh, kailan you always have to be in control. So yeah, um, I will not tolerate cheating at all. Definitely. All right. With that, thank you. Uh, thank Thanks, you for the show. Bye. Nice seeing you again. Yeah. John, thank you. And uh, we have next.